Hey collectors, Kat here, and this is Kilo Cuts. Today, I've actually got a 10 favorite figures tag, and this is something that myself and Solix Captor, whose channel is here, you should definitely check it out. Her voice is adorable, her videos are adorable, and don't let her tell you otherwise. Basically, we got talking and came up with this 10 figures tag. We were originally going to do five, Neither of us could settle on five, so we ended up with ten. I've gone and picked ten. I've not numbered them because I don't think I can. I feel like if I was to number them, I'd probably change my mind maybe six, seven times throughout. But I'm going to basically show you ten really cool figures that I own. For my scaling, I've limited myself to only scale figures, and this is all going to be based on their overall presence my personal enjoyment because what I like you might not and that's totally cool and for me quality is a massive deal so it's really about quality so things that have been done really well so there's going to be a lot of really good ones that I haven't included I've tried to only pick the best of the best that I have personally and of course personal enjoyment will affect that quite a bit <laughs> so let me show you 10 really cool figures. So the first one on this list is Max Factory's Bell Dandy and Holy Bell. This was a figurine that I didn't actually pre-order. I got this on Amazon probably about a year after release. I got really lucky with her. She's number 85 and I'm so glad that I got her The details on here are impeccable. The wings are really well done. All of just the flow is Lovely. She is a little bit difficult to assemble at the back Holy Bell attaches to Bell Dandy and it's quite precarious But once she's set up, she's quite solid Some of the hair is wild so there's not as much of an issue with fragility and really this sculpt is just so well done it's based off a garage kit and this is a really good representation <coughs> continuing the trend of magical girls which i suppose i might as well say now most of them are magical girl themed <laughs> or something similar i have the view and s an alter collaboration of Magical Emmy. So this I purely got for aesthetics. I feel like I really should watch this. It looks, like based off this, it looks really nice. And they've done a really good job on this figurine based off what I saw of artwork. The transparency on the butterfly wings, on her head pieces, on her neck piece and even on the earrings are all really well done. The shading on the skin is fantastic. Just the fabric flowing down on the sides is really well done. And they've even continued how they've displayed her, like how they've set up the base and stuff on the back, which I mean, a lot of companies don't bother with. So the fact that they've done this on the back and on the corners, it really looks just really well thought through. I never really thought about getting her, but considering I spent some of this year going and picking up just really nice display pieces to go with my magical girl themes, this seemed like a really good pick. And when I got her and opened her up, I was way more impressed than I thought I was going to be. So this is why she's on my list. <coughs> to number three, I've got Max Factory's Ben 10 from Zone 00. This figure I got on release is just incredible. I have a soft spot for really well done wings and dynamic poses and I mean all of that's on here. The base is nicely themed as well. There's a nice change in all the materials. There's some translucent bits. The hair is really well done. The fact that his string instrument is stringed with nylon as well is awesome. The nails are really well painted and the eyes, 
The eyelashes are so well done. So many companies just screw that up. They screw up the face, but I think they've done a really good job here. This has been a centerpiece in my displays for as long as I've had it, to be honest. I will always end up having him in a place where when you look over, he's one of the first things that you notice. And really, even if he wasn't, I feel like most people would just go and notice this before anything else. And that's the next one. And back to the world of magical girls, we have from Stronger, magical girl version Chino. So this is Kaful Chino and yeah, this is a magical girl version. So of course I had to have it. <laughs> Even though I'm generally not a fan of metal pegs and just visible pegs, the fact that this pose is really dynamic I don't think it takes away from it too much and there's really good balance involved. Usually I'm a bit nervous about it and there are a few figures where these kinds of poses have resulted in leaning over the years, some which that I own, but so far this has not had any issues. The little spoon is also really adorable. Her face is so cute. I think that Stronger did a really good job and Anime Co-op as well. So even though she's quite a simple figure all the shading is really well done and there's been a lot of thought put into the overall layout of her and that's a big part of why I enjoy her so much there's no paint issues or anything like that okay I promise the next one won't be a magical girl but I can't promise that the rest of them won't be magical girl <laughs> the fifth on this list is actually what I put as my number one figure for 2016. Walters, Velvet and Cornelius from Odin Sphere. This was a figure in that I was excited about receiving pretty much the day it was announced. When I received her, I thought she was absolutely magnificent. Every time I go and admire her some more, I notice more details like Cornelius's leather pieces looking proper like leather, just how well the transparent pieces are done on the ciphers. Her hair in general is just fantastic and all details are really well done. There's no paint errors on this, the shading is wonderful, the base looks really cool and I genuinely have nothing to complain about with her. I'm excited for them to make more Vanillaware figures because I love Vanillaware, I love George Kamitani's work and honestly if my entire collection could be Vanillaware pieces I'd probably be okay with that. So we've now been through five of my ten favourite figures. So the next one is yet another Alter piece. As you can tell I'm a very big fan of Alter. Some of their earlier pieces weren't super dynamic but they've gotten a lot better over the years. They're picking up far better licenses and they're really challenging themselves which I really like particularly the fact that they're doing idols and so so many idols I love my idols <laughs> but the next one is not idols <coughs> Alters Neko Mimi Pajama Charlotte and Laura from Infinite Stratos I actually didn't really like the anime sorry for those that did <laughs> But I really like this figure. I obviously really like cat things, just generally. And really these, the Nego Mimi pajamas are adorable. But the important thing, so the reason why I really like their presence, the pose, like, this is really cool. You display it on an angle. They're attached magnetically to the base. Fluffy base as well. And yeah, that gives them quite a lot of presence. She's these, this pair actually sits on my desk at home, so I get to look over and admire these pretty much whenever I'm editing. <laughs> the paintwork naturally is very well done, it is alter, the shading is all there, all these small details are there, the fluffiness of the cuffs are all really well done, though it doesn't look super fluffy, but that might just be because of the fact that we've got the fluffy base as well, so that helps make that look a lot more solid. And yeah, I think anyone that's been collecting for a period of time and has picked up some altar pieces and other stuff will know just 
the general quality levels of Ulta. And that's why they are on this list. Figure in number eight on this list is another Ulta piece. I know that this is, I think, number four. <laughs> but this is one that I definitely cannot go past. This is the final bride version Jewel Bear. This came out in 2017. It is the last Ulta figure for Hyaka Rowan, and it's their first cast off. They've never done any cast offs until now. So they finished off with this one and unfortunately I can't show you. You'll have to look elsewhere for pictures, but she's awesome. The shading from the white to pink everywhere, all the little decal details, all the floral details, sculpting, just everything is so well done. The face is well done, the base looks really cool. And she's quite simple to put together and to take apart. I've had a few issues with little pieces falling off, but admittedly it's not been too much trouble to put it back together. Naturally, fingernails are well done, all the shading on her hair is awesome. I think anyone that's a fan of Samurai Girls, a fan of wedding style figures, girls with weapons, do the, yeah, if you can get this, get her. She looks awesome, and she's definitely like one of those centerpieces in those sorts of displays. So by Anaplex, we've got Ciel from Book of Murder. If you happen to get the misprint version, Book of Muda. This is designed by Yana Tobuso and sculpted by Sakurako Iwanaga. So she's the one behind the Good Smile Inori, the Good Smile Lesia. She does quite a few of Red Juice's pieces because she does quite thin figures, literal and as in PVC figures as well. I feel like the artwork has been really well represented in this. All the little details are well done. You can see the little buttons everywhere. The corset is really nice. The bustle flows so well, it's really nice and dynamic. The knife and fork that comes out of the skull was a bit of a pain to get installed, but otherwise I think this is just so well done. And the presence here, he looks so regal and just so cocky. I love it. It's very much in his style, it was very androgynous and definitely I would say the best Kuroshitsuji scale. Next, we have Quez Q or Keys Q's Remilia, which is based off the Tohovania or Komajo Densetsu, Densetsu uh, artwork and game, or games, I think. This was announced so long ago, and I honestly thought this was going to go into release hell and never going to come out, but then it did. And I'm so glad I got her. I almost didn't because my hype had died because I've been waiting for so long. But I'm glad I didn't, and especially since they've gone and announced more from the art. I really like the artist as well. She's very fine, her legs are very thin, arms are very thin, the wings have massive span there. If you have a look, it's pretty much my forearm length. And she's very pointy. I stabbed myself a few times putting her together and it really hurt. <laughs> but I absolutely adore her. And even the lace is sculpted really well. I'm going from something super devilish. We might as well finish this top 10 with another magical girl, because of course, <laughs> of course it's a magical girl. And I'm sure there are people who have been watching this and thinking, oh, where is she? Where, where is she? Here she is. The Stars Bless You Sakura from Good Small Company. Anniversary, We've got the clear card arc that's come out. We've got 
yeah, fancy new artwork and I'm so glad that they've done this with the fancy base as well. The planets all move, the stars on the edge of her dress can be removed and reattached so that allows for there to be spares which they have included. The star on the top of her crown also comes off. I don't... I think there are other bits that come off. The moons on the sides and on the bottom rotate. The wings are quite precarious and I think that it will be very easy for there to end up with scratches on them. Though the transparency is quite nice, it's just a bit of a shame that it's not particularly solid in that regard. Where bits have come together there are very obvious connection points because it's transparent. But even with all of that, the shading on her, the face is super adorable. And really, of like the, yeah, the presence, quality, my personal enjoyment, she's definitely all the way up there. I've been considering trying to find a custom case to go and put her in. I haven't been able to settle on something yet that doesn't cost me far too much money. Uh, but I hope I'll be able to find something soon because she's definitely worth having something custom to her. I know that she's gone on sale in several places so if she's still available you should definitely look at her if this is interesting to you she's definitely worth it and her shipping is absurd because her box is massive too i should have ordered her off good smile but i had other items in that month so i ended up not doing that so it is what it is <laughs> but that is my top 10. i hope you enjoyed it if you want to do your own top 10, definitely do one. Feel free to link me to it, send it to me on Twitter or on Discord if you have me on Discord. There is also a figure Discord that is from the uh, Anime Figures Reddit, the subreddit there. I'll put that in the description below. Feel free to join. There's a bunch of really cool people. There's other figure YouTubers on there as well, so you should definitely look into that. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.